Hello everyone. We're going to talk about repair tool companies that don't sort right to repair. This one is JBC. JBC so far has been one of the worst of them. They ignore emails, ignore calls. Um, they say things that are visual that you can visually see are trade secrets, proprietary and confidential. Well, JBC, we're going to put that to the test today. And it's just with something simple. Simple is with this hot air rework station here. Um, this is the display board. First off, I want to give them a shout out to this excellent, excellent quality control here. I mean, don't they like to clean up after themselves? Look at all that solder flux residue. I mean, come on. And look at this attention to detail. Not all the pins are completely soldered. This is not the only one. This different year. Look at all this solder flux. That flux mess. And again, the cables are not fully soldered. Come on, focus. God, he wants to play. There it is. They're not fully soldered. Check that out. Okay, and then look at these G Luxon capacitors. Could they get any cheaper? Well, they probably could have. Um, so they don't have the firmware available for these on the website. And I would like a backup of them. So, uh, during this teardown here of these tools, I decided, well, I'm going to email them on this one here. Because I noticed this had a header here. And what are the pinouts? Because that's, I'm going to assume that's a programming header. I got crickets. Not a reply. Ask them for schematics. Not a reply. Okay. And, y y you know, right to repair is coming up in a day or two in California. So I hope they're ready for it. So I just did something tonight. It's really basic, really simple. Just to prove to them that this ain't confidential. This ain't proprietary information because you can pull a pin out from the data sheet and you can take a little multimeter and buzz around. You know, if you, if you know what pins are the programming pins and whatever, you can, you can dial it down pretty quick. Cotty's just wanting to be annoying. She is catting, huh? Are you catting? Yeah, but um, she wants all the attention. But, okay, so once we know the pins, which I have them listed here on this one here, pin one is MCLR, pin two is VDD, AVDD, that is um, a power pin, pin three, VSS, AVSS, that's power pin, okay, and then you have your programming pins, the PGET2 and PGEC2, then it has a couple uh, UART pins here, so... Those are right there. I will have this published on my website. So if anybody has a programmer and they want to back up their firmware, which I'm going to do. Come on. Focus. Um, you guys can have it. And then also on this one, back when I did the DDEs, um, I noticed this connector right here. This is some sort of AVX style edge connector. 
And that is the programming connector for the desoldering tool. That right there, JVC desoldering. Okay. So I will also have this on my website too. This is the pen out. I'm gonna assume the front side of the board is uh, pin one, okay? So pin one is PGE C2. Then pin two on the back side, on the bottom side of the board would be MCLR. Pin three would be uh, PGE D2, goes to pin 47. Bottom pins four and six are tied to VSS, AVSS pins 20. Um, top pins five and seven are no connection. And bottom pin uh, eight is VDD, AVD on pin 19. So there you have it. Um, I will decide now what device I wanna use to attack these targets. Um, I could use just a standard picket. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's no fun. Um, I would rather use... Where'd I put it? Oh, no. I lost it. No, it's right here. Cotty found it. Yeah. Okay, I'd rather use my Zeltec ISO one in circuit programmer. Um, I'm well versed in this programmer. I like this programmer. Um, or I can use a Flasher Pro. It supports that device. Or I just got this too, which is the Flasher Portable. Oop, there it is. Flasher Portable, which uh, I'm going to probably not use these because these are expensive devices. Um, and I, if I mess up, she just wants to just flop around over everything. Okay. But if I mess up, um, I don't want to break them because firmware is not available for these until I download it. So once I download it, I will have a backup for repair usage in the future. If I ever need it, um, a very big thing. Thank you to JBC for not supporting Right to Repair. They are a repair tool company and they don't support the repair of their own equipment. So, congratulations, you made the cut. So, let's give. Uh, oh, somebody wanted to see the pump in this. And it's on the website blog. I'll link that in the description. So, oop, that's the pump. Oop. There it is. That's the pump. So there's the back side of that board. Ah, you can't see it without me. I'm not set up to do that. But um, let's give Cotty cookies. Cotty wants cookies. That's what she's doing. She's wanting cookies. Yeah, so we gotta get Cotty the cookies. Yep. I was gonna do this in a live stream, but I was like, yeah. There's too many fireworks and everything. It's way too late right now. So I'll post this in the morning. So I will do a video when I'm downloading the firmware, but um, I need to find out a connector for that because I don't want to be soldering on the boards. and I want to just be able to plug in this right here looks like a standard JST uh, two millimeter pitch connector. Um, but this one here, if anybody knows um, what type of connector, I was looking at AVX because it's the only I've used those in programming before, uh, but they're a lot wider pitch. This looks to be about a uh, one millimeter pitch, not a standard two or 2.54 millimeter. So, yeah, Cotty. There's Cotty. Yes, there's Cotty. All right. But uh, if anybody knows what that connector is, give, me, give it a shout out in the comments. Um, I'll order one and 
I will make me a download cable and we'll get this firmware downloaded. And I will do it on video so you all can see it. Unless JBC just decides they want to make it available. Um, and confirm my uh, routing or my tracing. Um, but my tracing, I triple checked it. Like I said I ha I'll have these, but they'll be in color. Um, showing the pens, everything on the blog, in the description. So, gotta go.